Organize your photos is our topic on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Well, hello everyone. It's great to see you on this beautiful day. Now, our topic today, here, let me get back to that, is gonna be on how to organize our images. I'm sorry about this, there we go. Um, how to organize your images um, inside Luminar or for any image editing software for that matter. So let's dive right into it. Now, I just came back from Chicago and uh, what was really cool is we did this incredible photo shoot outside. Now, when we did this, um, I, I, I got done with the shoot and what I wanted to do is show everyone the images. Well, I had my laptop with me, thank God, so that was easy. So here's what I did. So let me dive right over to my C drive. Uh, where are we? Right here, Show and Explorer. All right, so here we are in Internet Explorer, and you can do this in Finder too. Now I have my, my um, hard drive, and here's my hard drive, which is my C drive. Now typically at home, because it's my work computer too, I have an external drive called E drive photography. So I'm gonna copy what I'm doing on my work drive and I'll do the same thing with this temporary C drive. I cr you create a folder and typically what I do is I like having that folder under photography. So now I have one place that I can store all my photos. I'm gonna double click on this now inside here, this is where I make a subfolder or a sub subdirectory. And I came down here and created what's called Coffee Break. All right, you know what? Let me increase the font size. One moment, I'm sorry about this. Let me do this. Um, display settings. Yeah, let, let's get the font size. Look like it's a little bit too small for you to see it. There we go. That should help out a little bit. All right, now let me get back to it. There, yep, there we go. All right, so here we are. I made um, the subfolder called Chicago. Now, since I know I'm going back to Chicago and I'm gonna do another photo shoot there again, I'm gonna create a subfolder inside Chicago. And now is where I label it with the date that I photographed the event and I gave it a descriptive name, Christmas in Chicago. Once I double click here, now it's just a matter of me going to my external drive, copying those images, let it refresh, there we go, copying those images and bring them into this folder, all right? So now that I have, and again, I'm doing this on a system level. So I'm gonna show you two ways that we could do this, all right? Hello, Walter from Germany. It's good to see you guys here. Bonjour, uh, Joseph. All right, so guys, so I'm here. And I bring all the images in, and now we got it. Here's one issue for Windows users. For Windows, we don't have a really good program to batch rename these images, all right? So if you have a subscription to uh, Adobe, you could use Adobe Bridge, Mac users, you have it easy because the Mac software um, automatically does this for you. You can batch rename. So I do have Bridge, and if you don't have Bridge, you can use a third-party program online. So here I am, and these are the images. Not very descriptive. Control or Command A, I want to select all the images. Now that I have all the images selected, right-click, and I want to do a batch rename. So how do we rename the images? Well, here's a suggestion. I like using a text file, of course, and I want to give it a name. It was Christmas in Chicago, so I'll remember this. It was a photo walk. So I may put Christmas in Chicago and give it a, a, a photo walk. Add that to it underscore. Now I put the underscore in so if you look down here 
This is what it's going to look like. Christmas in Chicago, photo walk. From your calendar. Excuse me. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, Alexa's reminding us, at the end of this episode, I am doing an Ask Me Anything question, so make sure you join me. And that's under luminar.tips forward slash AMA, Ask Me Anything. I'll put that in the description. And by the way, if you click on the description of this coffee break, I added it. Please join me at the end of the show at 515 for Ask Me Anything. You'll see the link right in there. So I thank my assistant here. All right, so file name, I named it Christmas in Chicago, photo walk underscore. Now, that's the current name. Here's the number suffix. I want that last four digit. So here's what my Nikon camera gave me. Underscore DSC, then that last four digits. That's That means, since I've owned that Z62, I photographed 2,687 images. I like to keep that because for, for most cameras, it goes up to 10,000 images, okay? So if it goes up to 10,000 images, um, I know that that 2687 may only appear, let's say, two times throughout the entire year if I photograph over 20,000 photos, all right? So I like keeping that last four digit right here as more like a, like a, um, a serial number. And I watch this, I hit rename, it does its thing. Now it batch renamed all those images. All right, I'm done with the Adobe uh, bridge. And yep, here we are in Windows. It shows the batch renaming. So now the fun part comes in. Now I open up Luminar AI. And from here, I create a new folder. From here, I'll navigate to my C drive. And remember, there's two ways. I'm going to show you how I'm doing this. So the first way, like I said, was the system level. Here we go. So I go to my C drive. This is system level. I've already created a folder called photography. And I've already created that folder inside of it, called it Chicago, right here. And inside of that folder, I gave it a subfolder name, 2021-1130, Christmas in Chicago. And I click on that. Once I hit select folder, Luminar is going to import it directly, the reference of where those images are, inside Luminar. So Luminar, Lightroom, and a few of the other programs, remember, they're not copying images into the program. What they're doing is creating a reference on where those images are located, all right? So that means you're not importing the images into Luminar or those other programs. What you're doing is you're giving that folder a reference or that program, a reference where these images are located. So there they are. I lo I, and if you noticed down here, Christmas in Chicago, photo walk underscore, 2694. Now, whew, so I have all of that done, right? Apologize. Um, oh, so sorry. There we are. All right, guys. So um, let me change my, my, for whatever reason, it's having the wrong image up. A little technical difficulty here. Um, let me pick a different camera source. And there we go. Nope, that's the one. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, so let's analyze what we just did. We started out, took, took a, a whole series of photos, and from the system level, Mac or PC, it doesn't matter, you created a folder, you dumped all those images into that folder. Then you went in, you renamed that folder. Great, you're done on the system level. You organized them. Now, why is that important? It'll work for any program, not just our program. So at Skylum, we want to make you better photographers. Yes, we want you to use our program, but 
if you're if you're used to starting with Lightroom first or on one or whatever, we want to show you how to organize it, and then I'm going to show you how to use Luminar to make them look even better. So, from that perspective, we used a system to bring in those images, gave it a descriptive name, and now we're good to go. Here's how Luminar is different from all the other programs, and this is what I absolutely love. All right, let me get back to here again. There we go. So, now that I did that photo shoot, and I'm really excited, this looks awesome, it's amazing, I brought in the images, everything is great. Well, let's say I go back next year to Chicago, and we do Christmas in Chicago, but it's 2022. So, watch this. I'm gonna show it in the Internet Explorer. So here's what we just created, right? I'm just gonna copy one of these just, just to prove a point. Good. So now we're in Chicago again. Uh, I'm gonna create a new folder, 2022. Notice I have Luminar open, and it doesn't matter if it's open or not, but watch what's gonna happen. And let's say 11, uh, the 11th month, we did on the 30th again. And it's another photo walk. All right, it's another photo walk. I have it in here. So notice, again, this is on the system level. Watch what just happened. Boom, when I come over to here, Give it a second to refresh. Let me move up a little bit. It's going to reappear right in here. Of course, a little anticlimactic on that one. I apologize. But right here is where it's going to reappear. So I'm going to have to go out of the program. Or let me see if I can do this. It's giving it a second to, to refresh it because our system resources are being tied up with Zoom. I'm going to go... Show and Explorer. Here we are. So look, I have two folders inside that subfolder. All right, I'm going to launch out and relaunch it again. So typically, it should automatically show it, but because I'm running low on system resources with all the online stuff going on, it didn't show through. So when I relaunch it, Instead of me having to direct Luminar on where that folder is, I can just keep dumping images into that folder and it's gonna automatically appear inside Luminar for us, all right? So that's the difference. Like, and I know, I'm sure you're, you're familiar with Lightroom. There we are, see? So it automatically appeared, in, oh, I know why, because I didn't import an image to that, so it's an empty directory. So that's why it didn't appear right away. Had I put that image in here, so it's zero, it would have appeared immediately. So the point I'm getting at is no longer do you have to worry about losing your images. You could just point to where the, the, the main folder is, and then you can put as many subdirectories into that, or subfolders into that folder, and they'll automatically appear inside Luminar. I mean, how incredible is that? All right. Well, while I got you here, let's look at this image. This image right here. Uh, right click, adjustment, copy all the adjustments. And let's go to this one here. Right click and paste the adjustments. Oh. Didn't I copy them? Let me get back. Right click, adjustment, yep, copy adjustments, and then control P for paste. There it goes. Was it exporting? So what I wanted to do is show you how I actually created that particular, uh, that particular style. And that's one of our episodes that we teaching is how I created this and then apply them to all the images. I don't want to export it. So, well, let me do it real quick for you. Because again, 
this is an editing program. So the number one um, area for this particular image, I love the shot itself. I did a horrible job taking it during the actual photo shoot. Um, so I had to rely on Luminar to um, repair some of this before I could start, start to get creative. But what I definitely wanted to show you is one area in here that I really, really used to, to fix this. And again, I apologize that it's taking a little bit longer. Here we are, right here. Enhance AI, watch this. I turn that off, turn it back on. Look at the change in that. So this, this here is the original image. I mean, it looks good. It's just, it wasn't what I wanted. Look at that, Enhance AI mixed with, down here, Mystical. Close and open. Look at that. Just those little tips like that makes a huge difference on um, editing. All right, but I know, like I said, this is a organizing our images, and that's what I did on a system level. Now, at the end of this, we do have an Ask Me Anything question on um, uh, Zoom. So let me put this in the chat. And it's Luminar Tip. Luminar Tips forward slash Ask Me Anything. All right? So I just put that into the, ch into the tips or into the chat. And we're also going to do the same thing into the description. So please check that out. And join me, uh, join me over at um, the Zoom, and you can ask me anything. I'm so there's a couple questions on about Neo. Um, how much of what I said applied to Neo? 100% of it, Richard. While I got you guys here, what I showed you was global. All right, and the reason why I did that is, what if you no longer use Lightroom? You no longer use uh, Luminar. You no longer use Neo. You no longer use any, any software, you, you just you, you come up with something new, this is a system level organizing. We're photographers, and I'm talking to you as a photographer. This is what it is. Now, obviously, do I want you to use our product? 100%. But as a photographer, I'm realistic. Some of you may not use it in the future. You know, it's a shame to lose you. I'd love to have you to stay with us forever, but I also want you to have your images safe and secure. And that's what this just showed you. It showed you a real simple way to organize your images on your computer system level. So any program you use from this point on, you'll implement it. And like when Neo comes out, it'll be as if you didn't switch over from Luminar AI. It's gonna transfer very seamlessly. That's the power of um, organizing your images on the system level. And the cool thing I wanted to show you with Luminar AI is how cool it is that you make a change on your system, boom, it makes a change inside the program immediately. All right? Whew. That was a tough one. I hope everyone got that. If you like it, please give this a thumbs up. If you didn't like what I had to say, please leave a comment below and just give us constructive criticism on what we could do to make these better. Please come over and join me on the Zoom Hangout. Last, the other day we only had like 10 people show up, but I'd love for you to join me. Ask me any of these questions from over there. All right? Hey guys, I'm Vanelli, and I'll see you at the next coffee break.